start with making a slip knot then insert your hook through the knot and make single crochets around the loop this is very simple so you're just going to do single crochets around the loop until you get to the end This is what we have at the end. I didn't count mine, but uh, just make a good number of them. Ensure the loop is all covered up. Now for our second row, I'm going to chain one and turn my loop. And I'll be doing half double crochets after every two stitches. So you're going to be skipping two stitches and making a half double crochet. So once you are at the end, remember to chain one and turn your work. And for this next stage, we're going to be using chain stitches to form the zigzag in the loop earring. I don't usually count my chains, but I just uh, try and ensure they're not too tight so they don't compress the loop and they're not lose either so i usually just make some chains and i just try and measure from one end to the other and feel the tension and uh, once i feel that's okay i attach it so for attaching it insert the hook in the last chain in the first chain space yarn over and pull the yarn through to make a slip knot sorry slip stitch so once you've done that we're going to chain now to the opposite direction remember we're making zigzags so this is just a, a preview of what we should have at the end depends on how many lines you want to be inside you can have as many as possible so these are around uh, six six chain stitch that we'll be having to make so we've already done one we have we have five more to go so uh, the number of lines you want inside the loop is totally uh, it totally depends with you and uh, it also depends on the size of loop a smaller loop or like a larger loop will definitely need more zigzags so that's the second zigzag 
remember to ensure you don't do very tight chains or loose chains because when you do loose chains it won't be presentable and when they are very tight um it won't be comfortable when you wear the earrings i was thinking of how to say it in kisaili because sorry in english because I was about to say it akufinya maskio. <laughs> so yeah, ensure you are not making tight jeans and they're not too loose either. I didn't do counting. So I just going to have to wing it, you know. Just do what you can. This is such an easy tutorial, a very easy pair of earrings to make. It's all about just doing chains from one side to the other from one chain you attach it to the next chain you you attach it to the loop using a slip stitch just like that just do your slip stitch yeah, and you're done and you turn to the opposite direction and remember to check on your tension check on your tension I like making the first chain a bit loose compared to the other ones because uh, it really plays a big role in opening and closing of the earring. So make it a bit loose, whatever works best for you, just as long as you'll be comfortable when you're wearing the earring. Or if it's for your clients, ensure they are comfortable and they love the experience of uh, this pair of earrings. As you can see, after every chain, I check on my tension. So, if you have already done one side of the earring, for you to ensure uniformity with the other side of the earring you can just overlay the other one so that it can guide you on where to attach your zigzag chains for uniformity unless you want to give it uh, your own style you want them to have maybe facing different directions but as for me i prefer using the second loop as an overlay because like I said, I don't do counting. If I did counting, then maybe it would be easier. Just know this this line I used maybe 8. The next one I used 15. But I'm too lazy. That involves me having to write them down. <laughs> so I just do what I feel like doing for the first loop. And for the second loop, I'll use the other one as my stencil. And uh, they turn out pretty well. And there you have your earring all done just fastening off uh, you can add a little off to this way of earrings by using different colors you can use uh, maybe a different color for the loop and a different color for the zigzags all you need to do is just to attach the yarn properly and you can start doing a different color of zigzags just uh, playing around with color different sizes of loops and have fun while you're creating this beautiful pair this is a very easy and short tutorial won't take you long to achieve this beautiful design
easy peasy lemon squeeze there you have it zigzag loop earrings thank you for watching like share subscribe and stay tuned for amazing accessories by v crafts